Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Brothers A Tale of Two Sons Remake. Yes, the classic is back. This was a lovely game before and it looks even better now. Now this was developed by Avant Garden, published by 505 Games and is available to you for just £15.99 slash $20 redos or so. So yes, the classic is back with updated graphics and two new achievements. It does look as amazing as ever. But if you never played it originally, we basically play as two brothers. Uh, Nugget Gnome, who is the smaller brother, and Beefy McManstick, who is the bigger brother. Uh, or Nugget and Beefy for short. <laughs> anyway, they go on an adventure to find this one bit of water that will save the dad's life from what's effectively old-timey COVID. Uh, but as for achievements and trophies, the original 12, which were very easy, are still very easy. Uh, plus, there's another two very easy ones uh, in it, so it shouldn't be difficult at all to grab them. Plus, this chapter select uh, if and when you finish the game anyway. Now, you don't actually have to finish the game to get the full 1k or platinum, and it'll take around two hours or so to get it done. So, with that being said then, let's do it! And of course, like I said, there's dialogue, uh, well, there's not so much dialogue, but there are cutscenes that we can't skip, so just enjoy the beautifulness that, that is this game. And if you're not really a fan of listening to any of the intros, remember the smaller brother is called Nugget Gnome, and the bigger brother is called Beefy McMahon Stick. So, Nugget equals small, and Beefy equals big. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, so it was his mother who drowned. I thought he just lost his favourite flower or something. I thought that was a bit, uh, I thought that was a bit um, over the top and a bit dramatic. But no, no, it was mommy. Well, here he goes then. So old tiny COVID dad is here. So we need to sort him out now. If you again, if you didn't play the original, you will need to control. If you're playing this single player, you'll need to control both characters. So Beefy McManstick, the bigger brother, will be um, controlled with the left side of your control with the left stick and the left trigger and little nugget gnome will be controlled with the right stick and right trigger now it will take just a few minutes to sort of get used to it um it, it, it effectively is a little twin stick uh type game unless you play couch co-op of course uh but yes yeah, so you will need to do things together so again the steering on some of these things will take a, <laughs> a few minutes to get used to as you can see and the whole premise of when you're in situations where you need to hold on to one and then you know take your finger off the right trigger or left trigger it all gets used to but again it's quite an easy game anyway so there's not going to be too many situations where you're going to get too angry or peed off but of course you know this is this isn't a rushed game you can literally take your time with it so if you find yourself struggling with something you know just take rather than try and doing them both at the same time just do it one at a time so you know get um 
uh, get Beefy going somewhere first, and then get Little Nugget Gnome to follow. Just whatever it is that makes it easier for you, of course. Uh, but for now, there's only one way we're going before we get our first achievement, and that is all the way down the hill until we get to this little elevator thing. be the one so you can let go of the left and right trigger and now what we're going to do before pulling the lever head down the screen as you can see there's a, a couple of steps here and we are going to follow the beach we're going to go to the end of it to find some rocks and what we're going to do then with either character doesn't matter who you just have to press the left or right trigger next to these pile of rocks to throw one in and that will be the first achievement done called take a break take a break have a kick have a break have a kick cat you know the drill Anyway, once that one is done, that should unlock, and then we can just carry on. So, the opposite end of the beach, back up the steps, and then we are going to pull the lever in order to get going. <laughs> Luckily, for the old-timey COVID, there wasn't any social media, so you don't have stupid people... Uh, Sticking a, you know, a 50 pence piece to their obviously sweaty and already sticky arm going See these, these vaccines, they've got 5G in them, mate They're trying to, the government are trying to control us The government do not care about you They only care about bending you over and ripping you off That's what governments do um, they, They're not trying to track you or anything, so don't panic Right, so once you've popped uh, old Pappy on the other piece of wood there What you need to do is press the left trigger in order to get your, uh, in order to get Beefy in position, then the right trigger, and that will get Little Nugget Gnome up onto the ladder. So again, a few of these puzzles will take a little bit used to, especially with the sort of, um, you know, left and right trigger. You, you'll probably see it through the game where I'm, as you can see now, I'm pressing the left trigger to try and get on the ladder, and I then fall down because I'm stupid. But what we're trying to do is get both characters up. <laughs> so yes, the controls do get a little. You do need to get used to them ever so slightly, but again, it's not so bad. So come up here, press obviously the both left and right trigger, and again, you'll have to press both of the um, little rotating sticky things on your remote control. You got to work together, boys. Get your thumb and girls, and get your thumbs all in sync in your fingers. So once we get here, then this is the prologue done, and Broski is going to be all like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Or whatever they talk about. Sims language. Sabe. Mafi Sadi Abaya. Fida, Wade. Ria. Ada. Tai. Haru Saiki. Puela Tarida. Amarahi Fikabu. Ladafi Taleb Omaru. Kolosabe Kiti Untolade. Miyaki Abadi. Naya Taliru. Akihoi. Yada Tia. Ha. Mari. Ha. Ha. Ro mai. Ta ia shuma beaba. So effectively saying sorry boys, uh, there's only one thing that can cure this thing, and that's get a uh, bottle of water. So, we're going to head down the steps right now. We are going to go continue straight down. Again, there are little places that you can see as well, but there's really not a lot else. So, we just, obviously, we're just going to go straight for the end. Oh, it might be. Dude's got a little nugget gnome there. He's got a better, better hair than I do, and I am super jealous. 
I'm jealous of anyone with hair, to be honest, because I am a pea. I literally have a small pea head. But I, 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 at least I'm pretty. Uh, so anyway, press the right trigger there to hold on. Again, you'll have to hold the right trigger um, in order to get that going. And then just promptly swim with your little beefy McMahon stick. <laughs> so next up we are going to climb up these vines again like i said if you're having trouble you know coordinating your fingers and your thumbs and getting them up together literally just take it one at a time um you should be absolutely fine so we have to do a few things because there is a douchebag right here not helping us out so we're going to climb up these rocks Again, it's a case of um, taking your fingers off the right trigger and left trigger and then going up again. Again, little things, but you will get used to them uh, relatively quickly. They'll jump across automatically, so jump up and then you're going to need to climb across Prince of Persia style. Or Assassin's Creed, whichever you prefer. And if you didn't know already, of course, we can hold the buttons to rotate the camera, right bumper and left bumper. Sometimes the camera can sort of pee you off a little bit, other times it's uh, normally quite good. Uh, now, for, for whatever particular reason, for me personally, I struggled more with the right stick, controlling a little nugget gnome. Um, I'd be going straight and then for some reason my thumb would pop him off somewhere else, so yeah. Anyway, it's all fun, so now we're going to climb up the... Pirate ropes, we're going to try and find Mr. Krabs' stash of Krabby Pattied rum. Now, what's funny is, uh, we're going to get a gate closed on us, so instead... Because what I mean by funny is, especially later in the games, we'll be climbing up, you know, massive rocks and we'll be flying up. But for some reason, we've got to squeeze through with a little nugget gnome at the bottom here and pull, uh, interact with this lever. Again, all with the right stick with little nugget gnome. Uh, but for some reason, we can't climb over this gate. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to be doing some incredible Ezio Auditore di Firenze kind of um, parkour freestyling stuff later on. Anyway, once that's done, the gate has opened, nip through it, and head up to where little broski was being chased by Am's dog. Um, you can have a look in the well if you want, but there's actually no need. We're actually just going to continue climbing forward and upwards. Uh, keep going up, and then what you're going to need to do is... You're going to need to interact with this guy with Little Brother Nugget Gnome first, and then with Beefy McMahon Stick Bigger Brother later. So again, life advice, if you ever want to get your way, just... Throw some water at someone and they'll uh, happily oblige. And whatever happens to you after is not, uh, you know, don't blame me for that one. Um, I don't throw water at anyone, okay? Not like some of these crappy TikTok pranksters who, you know, end up getting shot, especially if they're in America. Um, and sometimes it, uh, not that everyone, I'm not saying anyone who gets shot is well deserved, but, you know, pranks are stupid these days. Right, so what we're going to do, get two achievements including one of the two new ones so what we're going to do then with the bigger brother with beefy mcmahon stick we're going to press the left trigger in order to get the ball don't worry the uh, girl's not going to put up much of a fight um so yeah we will need to do it i think you have to do it with beefy mcmahon stick um the achievement unlocked for me anyway so just press the left trigger and you should throw it straight in the hole yeah and get the one last game achievement. Now, for some reason, my Xbox has been stupid and the achievement didn't unlock on screen, but I will show you. Um, again, not sure. I've I done it just sort of outside of the grass area and then press the left trigger again. 
And there we go, the one last game. So that is the one, one out of two new achievements which he didn't get in the original one. And while we have the Mega Balls in our hands, go away you, it's my banner, man. Um, just on top, just turn the camera around, there is a well right on top just next to this house. We're going to throw this ball down the well to get you the wishing well achievement. Apparently we're not wishing her well because we've just bullied her and taken her ball and thrown it down a well. Quite the douchebag remove, but the things we do for achievements, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for making us make a uh, little girl cry. Anyway, on we go. See you around. You'll be all right, man. You get a new ball from somewhere. Look, there's plenty of mud to play with and stuff. You'll be fine. So anyway, for now, what we're going to do is head down the path and into the house in the distance. Uh, don't worry, Nugget. Uh, old Beefy is, uh, he's doing this all by himself. You can bag her off. Anyway, open up the gate and continue forwards. Okay, so now we're coming up to the sort of real first puzzle of the game. We've had little introductions to little ones and stuff like that, but this is the one where uh, apparently a little... Is that supposed to be a pug? But anyway, he is bloody deadly. So, what we need to do then is obviously get both characters. Uh, we're going to need to help each other out. So first of all, if you press the right trigger... Ah, don't fall down. I've done that too many times. That's why there's a few edits here. Um, but you need to get the dog distracted. Then with Beefy, run to the left-hand side and you should climb up. Once the dog is there, then with little nugget on the right, nip straight through to the three hail bales. Uh, hail bales. You should have just enough time as long as you don't get caught in the straw on the floor. Then with beefy, go to the left again on the rock. And then once the dog is there, with little nugget gnome on the right, we are going to make a break for it and head straight for the next hay bale. As you can see there, uh, if you go in the straw, it will slow you down. So with little uh, Big Beefy, go to the left. And then with Nugget Gnome, we are going to make a break for it all the way up to the right. And that uh, that puts Nugget safe. So what we're going to do now, uh, with Beefy, we're going to go to the middle of these three hay bales. So climb yourself up. And then with Nugget, you're going to go down slightly and then get the dog distracted here. And then with Beefy, you're going to go up to the three hay bales just above you there. So climb up. And then do the same thing. So with Nugget Gnome, you're going to get the dog over to the right. And then you should then with uh, Beefy McMahon Stick, just have enough time to get over to the left. And that's job done. Hooray! Screw you, dog. And why are you so angry, dog? Who needs a little pet on the butt? A little belly scratch. Man, be, uh, be, basically, being a dog is well easy, isn't it? Uh, so again, all we're going to do is some nice uh, Ezio climbing right here. And then we will simply skip ahead. Again, they'll normally jump over these little gaps automatically, so you're all good. Um, but speaking of which, do you remember, does anybody remember the Prince of Persia movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? Genuinely, pff, I loved it. Personally, but uh, I know there are plenty of critics who, you know, don't like anything these days. In fact, I seen who did I see? I seen someone on Twitter the other day complaining that the new Final Fantasy game, uh, you go in the water and you come out bone dry. That's yeah, that's that's a complaint. You know, back, t you know, 15, 20 years ago, we were lucky to get 30 f, <laughs> you know, 30 frames per second on a game, and now everyone's complaining about. Oh my God, he's not wet enough. Anyway, the complaints and bitchiness of some people today, especially on Twitter, is hilarious. Right, so we are coming up now to a point where we're going to be getting one achievement and one part to an achievement. So the first part of the achievement, what we're going to do is head to the right. And we will... Uh, there's a bird cage right here. Now, we will have to 
uh, view this as Nugget Gnome in order to get the first out of two parts for Lovebird. Um, it doesn't actually work here with um, Bigger Brother Beefy McMahon Stick. You actually have to free him with Nugget Gnome. So off he goes. Goodbye. So next with Nugget Gnome then, what we're going to do is go into the hamster wheel that we've seen just in the middle of this area. There we go. Bit of spinning the camera around right there. So get in there. Now you will have to keep your uh, trigger down so that he keeps running. And then once the bridge goes fully down with Big Beefy Boy right there, we are going to go across and then we're going to pick up a sheep. This is where we're going to get the second out of, well, well the set, the second new achievement, which wasn't in the very original list 10 years ago. So pop a sheep over here. Now we can get out as Nugget, pop the sheep in the sheep wheel and the bridge will be good to go. Now, once you pick up a sheep, just spin around a good couple of times until he starts spewing all over you. And you will get the spin me right round, me right round achievement. Or trophy, of course. There it is. Spewing straight into the water. Job done. So spin me around. 100 Gs. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Okay, right. So with the sheep, we're going to go down the screen. And we're going to be getting another two achievements actually here now. Uh, so we will pop it down. Now, what we can do actually here as Nugget is pick up one of the bunnies. Or pick up the white bunny, actually. Actually, I don't think... Not sure if it makes a difference. Um, but I do end up just picking up the white bunny anyway. And as you're going to see in the middle of the screen here is an ash pit. So what we're going to do is pick up the bunny, put him in the ash pit. Um, and we'll try that one again until he goes blacker than soot. And that is going to get us the bunny buddies achievement. And then with Big Brother Beefy McMahon Stick, we're going to pick up the sheep and we're going to do the same thing. Put him in the ash until you get the Black Sheep achievement. And incredibly, the uh, achievement description is every family's got one, which is uh, funny, but also kind of depressing, especially if you are the Black Sheep in the family. That's a, that's a, that's a bit of a, <laughs> that's a bit of a bitchy description there, isn't it? So anyway, once we've got those two achievements, we could just leave everyone. They're going to have to clean themselves. Sorry, lads, we got stuff to do. So onwards we go. Uh, back into this main area. We're going up the... Uh, across the bridge now, where the sheep were. And we are just going to continue up the rock. Maru, when are they? Da? Sa? Da, yeah. So, we are here with the mushroom golem. I probably... Those don't even look like magic mushrooms. They look like death mushrooms. Uh, anyway, so this... Neck, these next sort of few minutes are relatively easy. All we're waiting for is Big uh, Mushroom Head. Classic band, by the way. Uh, we, yeah, we'll just call them Mushroom Heads. So we're gonna, just going to wait for Mushroom Head here to get his way up. And then all we're doing is basically 
He's going to throw us over a couple of times. We're going to have to climb on him. We're going to have to, uh, yeah, just do some stuff. But, yep, yeah, uh, it's all relatively easy. Nowhere where you can get lost. So just put both characters into each position. And we will continue our way for the next few minutes or so.
Okay, so after all of that fun has been done on the fun, uh, go for a little swim. Remember to hold on with the right trigger there. Uh, so a little nugget gnome there can hold on to his beefy McMahon stick. <laughs> it just never gets old. Oh, unless you don't like that kind of humour, then you probably hate me right now. Uh, I've had some hateful comments about it. <laughs> so sorry. Anyway, stick your nugget gnome through the hole. And we're going to have to save Mushroom Head's wife or girlfriend or whatever it is. Right, so again, you kind of have to squeeze through as a little nugget and obviously um, pop the lever open so we can get through with Big Beefy Boy. There we go. So once he's popped through, we can head, uh, yep, sorry, downwards and then to the right. Sorry, I was uh, almost missing myself right there. Uh, and then up to the right, we basically just going to have to grab one massive huge lever. Uh, you can just climb on these. Both of you should be able to climb on with ease. So this is one giant lever that we need. So head up the steps. Uh, again, you can't really get lost in here. We're going to take a right and you're going to see the big giant lever on the right hand side of the screen. There it is. Now, what you have to do, basically, there's only really one path that you can go with this one, but you have to do a bit of, um, uh, you remember um, Ross Geller from Friends? Pivot! 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 Shut up, shut up, shut up! You know, all that stuff. We're going to have to do some pivoting around, as it were. Uh, until we get back to the lever, we stick it in, and that's job done. Also, in this game, I'm not sure if these boys are normal-sized, or if, if we are literally gnome-sized. Maybe that's why he's called Nugget Gnome, which I made up. I've got to be honest, at first I didn't think this was the lever, I thought this was just another video from Drake uh, and his uh, chunky old lever. <laughs> if you've seen the video, you'd be like, damn. Right, so once you pop that in and Drake's lever, sorry, the regular lever has broken that, we can now just climb across lovely to the right. So you know we don't die, which is always nice. And then we're going to head up, around and down. Right, so now we're going to find a bit of a huge crossbow type thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to push it forward. Now to turn it, I think what you have to do is press up on the left stick and down on the right stick in order to get it to turn and vice versa, which if you want to go left or right. Uh, now, annoyingly, this took me a while to figure out. Uh, but once you've done that, then you can press them both. Uh, so we're going to go to the left side first, turn it around, put it to the right side. Yeah, so that's that's how you do it. Left, left up, right down, and then right up, left down, whichever way you want to go. Um, yeah, took me it, honestly took me too long to remember that one, which didn't annoy me, of course, at all, because I am calm, I am zen, etc. So across the bridge we go. Ah. 
So you should know the drill here with the ladders. Of course, uh, press the left trigger and then the right trigger. And that'll get little Nugget Gnome up. And there's going to be a lever that we can press. Oh, well, we actually have to go up to the top and then jump onto the chain. But once you jump, make sure to press the right trigger to hold on to it. Because uh, the amount of times that I didn't do that was frustratingly too much. Then we can climb up as Beefy McMahon Stick. So it'll be the same thing here then, the, the further we get, we're going to get both of these guys on, and then that's, we're just going to push it forward, and ready, steady, it's going to be a kablammo eventually, nah, there we go then, so we're going to get these basically, uh, these chains working, so what you need to do, you need to grab onto the first one as a little nugget gnome, Oh, I don't think it makes too much of a difference, but uh, either way, you've got to do nugget gnome first, and then another one's going to come behind, um, and you're going to put your beefy McMahon stick on it, on the behind, the behind chain, you know, there we go. So make sure you're looking at Nugget Gnome, uh, get off the right trigger once you have popped your way onto the next platform, there we go. And obviously we just wait for beefy McMahon stick, and do the same thing here. Now this can be a little bit confusing, this uh, next section, but again we're going to need to get up as the ladder. Now you're going to see one of those uh, turny levers that we've been playing through so far. With Little Nugget Gnome you need to keep that rotating. So do not let go and just keep rotating. Um, and then what you need to do then as Beefy, grab onto one of the chains that are going through and then that will pop you through. But you cannot stop rotating the lever otherwise the gates will close and uh, Beefy will drop off the chain. So you have to keep rotating the right stick until Beefy is through and then you can simply just drop off onto the next platform. There we go. Um, now obviously with Nugget Gnome we're going to go up to the next one and then you're going to do the same thing. And then next up, what you're going to do, again, as you can already see there, Nugget Gnome is already hanging on the chain. Oh, well, he will. So put Nugget Gnome on the chain above. And then obviously with Beefy, you're going to pop him over the other side with this contraption. There we go. And once you're over, you can just drop down. Lovely job. Nip it on through, and we're going to find another rotating lever. Which again, we will have to do with the chain. So again, it's just the same as earlier then. So wait for the chain, grab on, and keep rotating as Nugget. And then again, uh, we're going to need to put this contraption over to the right. Grab onto the train as Nugget. Uh, the, the chain, sorry, not the train. Choo, 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 choo. I'm riding on the techno train. Yes, electric call boy. Really been enjoying my electric call boy lately. And if you haven't heard them, go listen to him. Especially if you love dancey, heavy, uh, dancey metal music. It's awesome. Uh, but anyway, once you are both done, finally, we can just start climbing up to the left.
that would have been fun if it wasn't for the fact that this whole place is falling apart. Um, I don't think this is timed, but all you got to do is just simply run to the right with both of the characters anyway. So this bit is nice and fun, and it's actually not so bad. Uh, so what we're going to do is head to the back of this room, where Little Nugget Gnome is going to skip through the fence. But what you have to do, as you're going to see first of all, he's going to click on a bone, and old big troll boy is going to be like, <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Job done. But no, what we have to actually have to do as Nugget Gnome, you, you're going to see the obvious piles of skulls and everything on the ground. You just need to sneak around them in order not to be detected. If you do get detected, uh, if you do make a noise, uh, basically you're going to be swept off the edge and you'll just have to try again. Like I said, the one even better thing about this game is if you die, you can try again almost immediately. The checkpoints are very generous in the game. But once you get up here, again, what you need to do is hold the right trigger. Do not drop the key either. Otherwise, you will be swept off the edge as well. So hold on to the key. Get back to the other side. So once you have uh, helped and unlocked um, Mrs. Mushroom Head's cage, go up here, interact with the lever, and it's going to be sort of like a, uh, I mean, I wouldn't call them boss battles, but it is kind of a mini sort of battle where we just have to basically, uh, oh, she got a bigger mushroom than I have. Fuming, mate. And she got a bigger schnoz than I have. Ah, oh, fuming. And she got a better beard than I have. Fuming. Anyway, you basically have to trap this uh, enemy broski. Even though she could have just taken a, she could have just taken us with her, but don't worry. Nugget, bro, what are you doing, man? You're just pissing him off now. Uh, now remember, what we have to do first is actually run and get up to where the lever is. So with both characters, quickly get up the steps. He's not going to chase us up here, so don't worry. But what we're going to need to do, so with Beefy, we're going to open up the uh, cage, and then we're going to have to get little Nugget in order to, you can obviously snip, uh, slip through the cage, which is always nice, but we basically have to get big angry gorilla man here, gorilla troll, whatever you want to call it, into the cage. So I do get lucky and not get smashed on the head. So just keep, again, try to be careful. As soon as he sees you, run inside, and once he's run in, with Beefy, let go of the stick, and that's all trapped, lovely job. And then we can simply head up, and, uh, yeah, we finished this part of the game. Hooray! And then I actually forgot about this part of the puzzle. So what we're going to do then, we effectively now have to put uh, Mrs. Mushroom Head over to the bridge on the right. So what we're going to do is go to, I'm going to push it up to the middle section first. Then remember to turn it to the right. I think it's left on the up, uh, left up stick, right uh, down on the right stick. Turn it to the right, push it up, go to the left. And then that'll get her over. And then we just have to put the... Uh, this big lever control over to the left in the middle so that we can jump over. Ugh! <sighs> 
this is kind of the uh, main boss, if you will, area. Kind of looks like a, a Phil Mitchell from EastEnders. You know, the gammons who uh, hate everything that's woke. Bloody rainbows, they piss me off. Rainbows are gay now, are they? <laughs> anyway, so what we need to do then as Nugget Gnome, um, we need to, we'll drop down. We're going to head to the, uh, the second of the chains and make sure that old Phil Mitchell will grab him the way. Uh, go up to the top one, and then Mr. Gammon, who's scared of everything woke, apparently, will head that one, then just nip down to the left one, and then he's obviously gonna knock, uh, knock that one out. Boosh! Now you'll have some time, so what we need to do is go around the opposite side, and then as soon as he stands up, with Beefy, press the left stick, uh, press the left trigger, now, and then that should be enough to get him in the middle, and then get them both down, step on his fingers, Goodbye, you gammon. Goodbye, you pig. Rainbows are not gay. Rainbows have been around forever. Do not worry. Nothing's woke. <laughs> it's like, oh, I hate beans on toast. I'm so bloody woke. Which is, you, people don't even know what woke is anymore because they think... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's for, another, that's for another day, isn't it? Right, we saved the band Mushroom Head. They're going to come out with a new album soon. And we're on to the next chapter. Jobs are good and Maru Hadinia Bisho Maru Bishoya Right, so while we look forward to the next album from them, where there's some more vocalists apart or anything, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but we are now in Wolves Country, Wolverhampton Wanderers, yes. So, what you're going to do, um, go close to the wolf as much as you can. As soon as it turns green, then you can press the left trigger, and that will actually scare the wolf away. Come here, you little douchebag! There we go. So once the uh, outline of it turns green, there's one on the right there, so just be aware as well. Uh, you can then get that going. Um, again, you'll have to go a little bit slower, because of course you're going to have to wait for Nugget, because he's not exactly uh, not exactly in a helping mood right now, is he? Because he's crapping his pants, understandably. So just go ahead and follow the path. There's going to be another wolf that is going to appear directly in front of you. Uh, in just a moment. So again... When, uh, just get closer and when the outline goes green, then hit the left trigger to get your beefy McMahon stick square in the wolf. In fact, there's going to be one and then there's going to be another one around the corner.
And there you go, that's the wolves defeated. So what we're going to do is now get another achievement. Go up to the right, you're going to see this angel statue. Go ahead and interact with it until a shooting star appears. And that will get you the achievement uh, called Falling Star. We haven't had an achievement for a while, have we? But this is the next one. So you actually have to wait here until you see the shooting star and get the achievement. Now, also, if you do want to beat Wolves, just get uh, Man United's goalkeeper, and Andrea Onana, who apparently loves punching Wolves. Well, the Wolves players in the heads, anyway. Um... Back when Manchester United could win a game and not lose to Fulham and Bournemouth and Manchester City and they're on 300 grand a week and they act like they don't care. I'm talking to you, Marcus Rashford. I'm just jealous because I'm not on 300 grand a week. Anyway, or uh, <laughs> two grand a week. So once we have done that, of course, we're just going to follow the path to the left and all the way around. Uh, head down the steps. Uh, it can be a little bit dark here, but we're just going to uh, interact with the bell and some little hobgoblin's going to come out and he's, uh, they're going to open up the gate for us. When Hadi Ari? Atamafi. So nothing too special apart from almost drowning here. Just grab on to your beefy McMahon stick and uh, just, yeah, you know, go for a swim. Bloody hell, boys, this ain't going well, is it? Not having a good time. Right, now, for this bit, now, normally, anybody else would probably have broken bones and pretty much be dead by now, but the special uh, chicken nugget gnome here, well, he'll keep on going. So what's going to happen is, um, we're going to fall. Now, what you think you would normally do is just um, sort of climb up, um, but apparently that's not the case. So with Beefy McMahon Stick, we need to be going to the left, and these trees with Mega Edward Scissorhands hands are going to try and attack us. So you just have to be careful um, and obviously not get into uh, too close to the hands. So just take your time with it um, and obviously just avoid the hands as much as you can.
Oh, bruh, more dramas, uh, dramas happening now. We have to go and save Little Nugget. So get your McMahon stick down, press the left trigger to grab him, and then head straight back up. So now we have this lovely character. Uh, now her her initials, I found out, are DS. Um, I do believe her surname is Snoo Snoo, and if I'm right in remembering, her first name is Death by. So yeah, that's uh, Miss Death by Snoo Snoo, which is great, great, great sounding name. I I like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, anyway, once you have done, you can go ahead and stroke uh, Miss Death by Snoo Snoo's head again. She'll open up a hand, and just like with the mushroom head troll earlier, we're basically going to be following, just just following the path effectively. And by following a path, I mean we're going to get choked out by our brother and then uh, realise, thankfully, that was just a nightmare. So, yeah. So once you uh, have been done by Snoo Snoo, on we go. It's it's a nice day now, thank God. But this time we're going to head to the right. So make sure to head to the right. We're going to get a miserable achievement here as well. So with uh, Nuggets, you need to go up the rope and left trigger to help the guy not kill himself here. Um... So once, you, once you're at the top there with Nugget, press the right trigger and that'll get him down. But the achievement isn't done just yet. Uh, what we need to do is head down and around while he has a little sob. So we need to go down and around and then basically what we're going to find is a little music box at the end of the little sort of path. So, yep, that's the one. Once you picked up the music box, just head back on yourself, give it to Mr. Broski, and you will get the a sad tune achievement. Um, but to be fair, there is a reason why he felt like that, as we're going to see in just a minute. Damn, that is some sad, sad stuff. 
actually, it really is. Right, so uh, once you've cheered him up, I mean, you probably need something more than a uh, sad tune box, but once you've cheered him up, we're going to head up and then continue on our way. Uh, we're going to be doing some climbing. <laughs> I mean, that's all we're doing so far is climbing, isn't it? But you need to squeeze in, and as a little nugget here, go at the top, and then you're going to need to grab onto one of these windmills and just jump across to the other side. Now, this is actually a fun bit. What we're going to do is get on to two goats. Uh, one, I'm just going to randomly call uh, Michael Schumacher. Uh, the other goat, I'll just, I don't know, I'll just randomly call him, uh, I'll just call him Ayrton Senna or Max Verstappen just to uh, piss some British fans off here. Um, but again, effectively, all we're doing is just following the path. You're still going to have to hold the left and right trigger while you're riding the, uh, riding the goats. Otherwise, you just get off like that. So, yeah. Uh, but effectively, like I said, all you're doing is just following the path up and around. Easy to not get lost. Right, so we've got another two achievements that we're going to come up to. Oh, yes, we love a good set of achievements, don't we? But I hope you're enjoying the game. So we've got um, Einstein's younger, younger brother. He's basically, he's more Beanstein than he is Einstein. Um, so, <coughs> beans on toast, Stein. And, and again, Americans, I implore you to have just baked beans on toast, okay? I promise I would not, I'm not letting you down. It's a beautiful British cuisine. Don't take the piss. It's, we'll try your biscuits and gravy stuff uh, if you try beans on toast, okay? There we go. Right, so once you picked up the gear cog, oh, God, Jesus, that almost went off there, but you need to actually get across there as a nugget in order to throw it across. Um, so then just go up and around. 
And then what we'll do as Beefy, we will go across the bridge here. And then you can press the right trigger in order to throw the cog over again. And then with Beefy, you'll pick it up and pop it in the mechanism on the left. Once that's done, get both of them on the lever. That's going to pop up a little platform with Dr. Beans on Toastine. And this is where we're actually going to be getting the next achievement. Although it didn't unlock straight away for me. So if it happens to you as well, do not worry. It unlocks a little bit later on. So there he is, old Beanstein. Uh, so follow him. But what we're going to find is a um, set of stairs that lead off to the left. Uh, specifically these big ones. So don't follow Beanstein just yet. Head up the left side of steps. You're going to need to get Little Nugget on the lever. And uh, Beefy McMahon stick on the big one. Now, what you need to do is get it so it is covering the fifth and sixth hole right there. So right there. Now, with the little nugget, get him, get the lever going. And that's going to get a song going. That's going to get Mr. Beanstein dancing. And that is what should unlock you the windpipe achievement. But again, if it doesn't unlock straight away as it's supposed to, uh, it basically unlocked for me after the next achievement we're going to get in just a minute called Lovebirds. <laughs> All right, so once Beanie stopped dancing and we're all good, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to head down uh, through where this little chalkboard is here on, uh, well, just straight in front of us. We are then going to head down these steps and you're going to see a little telescope straight in front of us. Now, we actually have to find the birds and watch the ensuing cutscene, so it doesn't matter who you're with. But if you go down to the bottom right, uh, with the left stick, uh, you can actually zoom in. So once you've zoomed in, that is where the cutscene will play and the Lovebirds achievement will unlock. And for me, apparently the Windpipe achievement unlocked as well. Put a wet wipe in your windpipe, beer, beer. Yeah, see, I am vocal mans. Right, so what we're gonna do, we need to hold on with both of these. Now we do actually need to steer this uh, big old flying machine. So obviously at the minute, they're both on the right-hand side, uh, left-hand side, but if you wanna do some steering, you have to, as you can see, you need to get it sort of, uh, the uh, beefy boy over to the left or nugget over to the right uh, to steer a bit more it's not so bad very open space but obviously you need to try and avoid the uh, rocks that I was just about to fly into
Dali. Atta. Okay, onto some more fun. Now we're gonna have to do some proper swinging, mate. <laughs> I don't know, some people just got the wrong idea, but I didn't mean that kind of swinging. I meant real swinging. Not, not the keys in the bowl swinging, I meant just swinging. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to climb up on here. And then, so obviously what we need to do is get, uh, take out your finger off the right trigger and then just jump over and, and then obviously the left trigger. So it's kind of like, you know, your right trigger, left trigger. Um, if you... Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, you can actually obviously just give yourself a bit of momentum with the rope. So if you don't manage to grip onto the thing on the first time, just swing back and forth until you are high enough to grab on. So again, it may take one or two attempts here just to get used to it, uh, but honestly, it's not so bad. Give yourself a swing rope up and then just keep doing the same until you are in a position to climb all the way up. Yeah, it wasn't really need, any need for me to speak there. It was just uh, climbing and climbing and climbing. Uh, now, this bit, we're just basically walking on the floorboards. Now, what you could have done, again, what we've been doing through the game is uh, jumping across mega death platform gaps. So you'd think, you know, um, 
old beefy McMahon stick there would just jump across and then you could run, both run across to the other side, but never mind. What, what we're going to do then is just find these giant steps here, climb them up. Right, apparently there appears to be no giants, so they must have like a giant piece of chicken or something delicious. Which again, which begs the question, are the giants just normal sized? Are we just little midget gnomes or are, or are they actual giants? Right. There is an owl that we need to rescue because he's looking uh, not at his peaky Harry Potter flying letters everywhere best. So we're going to need to climb up onto the bed and then up to the right onto the table. And in order to free little Owly McNugget face there, uh, with Nugget we're going to uh, jump up, go through the little gap of the fence, uh, climb up, shuffle your way across and then grab the chain. And then with uh, Beefy McMahon stick we're just going to grab onto your little Nugget and <laughs> grab onto your little Nugget and then that will get the owl free. Okay, so in order to get the owl going, you actually need to interact with it as Beefy McMahon stick. Uh, you can stroke it with your little nugget, but uh, you better put your beefy beefy stick right in the owl's uh, face. Not your one, of course, I just mean the character. So, he's looking a bit beaten and a bit worse for wear, but uh, he's going to fly us across lovely before he flies off into the distance and uh, lives his free life. Hooray! There you go, cheers, pal. You you nip back to Harry Potter world now if you want. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, mm. okay. So, bro just died. Never mind. No Harry Potter world for him. Um, and we will. Oof! It's a feather. Rest in requiesc Captain Pache. Ah, 
Ah, ah. Saki, dia. Ah. Eh, vi dia nå. Ah, ah. Kom och ha dig ek. Alla kuta. Eh, vi dia. Okay, I don't think he was too pleased thinking of that memory. Okay, right, um, we are in the land of the giants. There is another achievement we are going to grab. Uh, we've only got four left now. So there's one left in this area and then three in the sort of icy, snowy area. Which every British person, in fact, every British person right now, what is it? It's like two degrees and everyone's going, it's so cold, I can't wait for the summer. And then there's people who laugh in Canadian and, you know, Switzerland. And every other cold country on the earth where it's like minus a billion all the time. Damn, how do you do it? Okay, so once we're into this new area, the land of the giants, it's effectively all we're doing is pushing some stuff out of the way. I say stuff, it's big giant arms. Oh, and look at that. That's, uh... F <laughs> now, that just reminds me of, you know, where your, 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 your potential partner standing at the end of the bed, like, uh -huh, and then you've just shaved your shrinky dink. Uh, that's what your shrinky dink looks like. Yeah, while you're sat there with a... Hell of a gut and a nice big shrinky dink looking like a mole rat vulture neck. Uh, or that's just me. Okay, that's that's for another depressing story later on, which I won't tell you about. So head down, and yes, there are a whole bunch of giants around, so we'll <laughs> continue down. And all you gotta do is get both of them onto this big giant arrow and push it so the arm gets out of the way. So once we get up to this area then, you need to climb up to the left and get both both of your characters jumping and grabbing onto the big arrow at the same time. Once you've done that, uh, big giant broski will fall down. That's job done. Sorry about that, pal. Uh, and then continue heading downwards.
Oh, bro, this, bl this uh, <laughs> water's getting a bit bloodier, isn't it? Uh, so head up to the left. So you're going to find a stick that we can, uh, or branch, big giant branch that we can nip across. Genuinely, big broski there just looks like he's taking a chill pill sleeping, but he's deader than a dead thing. Uh, right, what we're going to do is climb up, and then before heading up into the left, we are going to go past giant sword on the right, jump over, and then interact with the horn. That will get us the call of the giant's achievement. <laughs> That's uh, something like that, when it actually sounds nothing like that. Right, okay, since we're here, we're going to now head up to the left, and then we are going to basically interact with this giant bow and get big sleeping dead guy out of the way. So while we just get soaked with blood, we're coming up to an area now where they're doing the hey ho are ya chants, you know, Homer Simpson style. Hey ho are ya, hey ho are ya. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll just continue going down. We're basically going to have to save this woman and then go on a boat, which is, for me, the most annoyingest part of the game because I didn't figure out the controls properly until the very end. So once you are completely frozen in this area, uh, heading up, and here are the hey, how are you guys? Afi, here Sadi. Kifadi, ah. Right, so we have to be basically a big statue with blood on us or something so uh anyway head to the right um and we are eventually going to start dropping down don't worry the hey how are you guys are not going to see us uh so we will go down to the right and then this is where we're actually going to see the statue covered in blood so again this is a case where you have to hold the right trigger in order to keep nugget uh standing on top of beefy so get beefy in first and then get nugget in. Make sure that you are covered in blood. In blood. And once you are. Sorry, there was a bit of an edit skip because I kept falling down because I stupid. Then we can just head up the steps and all the way through until we have rescued Am's lady. So once this is done, the hey how are yous are going to be fuming, so we need to run exactly where she's pointing. Um, luckily, they're 
extremely slow apparently, so we're going to head down straight through the gate and we're going to be coming up to the last three achievements very, very soon. But we are going to have to um, uh, ride a boat. And again, <laughs> annoyingly, uh, let's just say that I was very stupid until the very end, until I realized the controls. Like I said earlier, it's up on the left stick and down on the right stick in order to turn, and uh, turn left and then vice versa if you want to turn to the right. So just be aware of that. Once you know that, it's actually quite easy. Um, but it took me the longest time because I am, well, not the brightest pickle in a bunch of extra jarry pickles. Arava. You're an Arava. What did you call my mother? Mabi here. Mahamida. Okay, so remember, as I've said a few times, left, uh, up on the left stick, down on the right stick in order to turn left, and then vice versa to turn the other way, okay? So once you've got the rhythm going, it's actually not so bad. But we're going to be coming up to an achievement that you can actually quite easily miss. So we'll just continue going straight, and then you need to turn right slightly. And then when we, once we get into this big main area, what we can actually do is head... You can see the pool of blood there. That's the place we're going. So don't go to the left just yet. Uh, turn to the right where the pool of blood is. And once you have gone into that little area, you will get the achievement behind the curtain for finding a secret where it's basically uh, Willy Wonka land. And no, not the £35 excruciatingly yet hilarious if you didn't go Willy Wonka experience. What were they thinking, by the way? Damn it, Dad was crappy. <laughs> it just reminds me of the, the, the Simpsons episode. Stop! It's already dead! Anyway, once you get in here, we're going to get the £35 Willy Wonka experience. A uh, couple of dancers go in. You'll get the achievement, and then we can get the hell out of there. Get our £35 back. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah. So, obviously, if you're from a different part of the world and you don't know what I'm talking about, just type in Google Willy Wonka... Uh, £35. They basically put on this show, which was the... Well, it, it was supposed to be an experience, but it was... Well, it was more like diarrhea than it was... <laughs> yeah, the chocolate water was more like diarrhea than it was an actual Willy Wonka experience. Anyway, once you got the achievement, now we can continue going forward. Now, there's going to be some whales that will be popping uh, in and out of the water. You can't actually get hit by these whales, otherwise you'll die. So, uh, once you see them underneath... Wait a minute until they jump up and then jump down and then continue forward.
there are going to be another two. There is one just underneath us there. But he's going to go more to the right. And there's going to be one right in front of us, just where this next sort of ice iceberg is. So there he goes. So just wait. As soon as he's down, nip it forward. And then you're going to keep on nipping it forward until you see the obvious exit. There's a bunch of skulls around it. Again, I'm being extremely stupidity with my uh, ice driving. Uh, there's the exit. And then incredibly, we've got uh, old... We've got Mrs. Eddie Hall right here, who just... <laughs> when she jumps out, she pulls the boat in. Classic. Alright, let's go ahead, smash out these last two achievements, and then it is done. Unless, of course, you want to crack on with the rest of the game. Uh, now, this bit's very easy, you're just literally following the icebergs, that you can't really get lost. Uh, but, now, when I do get the last achievement, there is actually 30 more minutes of gameplay, that, so if you want to finish that, of course, and hopefully you can save your dad from the uh, 5G, well, I suppose it would have been 3G in this time, wouldn't it? Uh, the 3G vaccines, which the government will track us. Um, you can if you want, but I'm not actually going to be showing you the rest of the game. Um, purely just showing you the achievements, and then I'm scrapping it off. I don't want to ruin it for you. So anyway, once we get up here, we're going to get the next achievement for basically rescuing three baby turtles. So we are going to head, continuing heading down, and you're going to hear the cry of a turtle. As again, we don't shatter our ankles on the ice. So continue down and to the left, and you can see one on the right. Uh, that's the Mama Turtle. So once we get to this area, what we'll do, we're going to head up. Or, or, no, we're going to head... Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. There's one, actually. That will appear first. So you're going to have to pick them up, uh, up with both of the characters, and then we're going to head up. And eventually the camera should spin around and reveal a little ice slide for us to pop him down. There we go, that's the ice slide, and then of course there is the second one, so pick this broski up. Again, are we the little nugget gnomes? I don't know, because these turtles, baby turtles shouldn't be this heavy. Anyway, that's the second one done. Now what we're going to do is head to the right. And you're going to see a ladder that we can climb up here. Uh, well, there's the third one. So once you climb up, don't go running all the way down. Make sure to press the right trigger, uh, basically just to get the turtle moving. There we go. And then simply pick him up, put him down the ice slide, and that'll get you the turtle soup achievement. Absolutely beautiful. Look at us. We <laughs> turtle soup. Sounds kind of tasty to be honest, but uh, turtles, no. Nope. They're probably endangered somewhere and, you know, let, let's not eat turtles for soup. We'll just stick to regular old dogs. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, I'm just joking, of course. I love dogs. Right. Let us go ahead and get the last achievement and get the full 1k in platinum. So we're going to uh, skip across this bit of ice. Then we're going to follow our new friend who looks like she should be in the next Bioshock game uh, more than anything. So once we have followed uh, the next Bioshock lady, up on the left we're going to see a bench. That is what we are, we need both characters to, uh, both characters to sit down on this bench for the last achievement to unlock. And again, I will say their full names one last time. We need Beefy McMahon Stick and Little Nugget Gnome in order to sit on this bench in order to get the Whale Song achievement. And this is what will get the full 1K done, dusted, busted. McBusted. So, and I'm just trying to figure this one out. Hey, there we go. Got there eventually, didn't I? Uh, so once you've done this, the last achievement will unlock, and that'll be 
the brother uh, uh, brothers remake done um yeah so there we go so i will leave it here again there's about 30 minutes including cutscenes left of gameplay so if you want to crack on obviously do it because uh, it is a fantastic game. I enjoyed this one thoroughly once again. But 14 out of 14 done. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. And as always, a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. Absolute legends. So thank you so much to everyone. And I'll see you in the next game, gal. Guys and gals, big chunky love nuts.